It's a hot topic everywhere you look on TV and social media these We're days. We're talking human genetics. Today's CI Health sponsor, Atlas Genetics, Dr. Jim Painter and Val Prisakaru with Atlas Genetics are here with all the details. So what exactly do you mean by genetics? <laughs> genetics happen right after that twinkle in your father's eye creates that <laughs> cell and to come together to that one being. I have so many questions, but I'm not going to ask them right now. <laughs> I tried to make it kind of <laughs> Thank plain. Thank you. I appreciate yes. that. <laughs> and so within that one genetic sequence there, you've got 23 chromosomes. That has all the map for your entire being. Now, uh, those can, can get messed up sometimes, and that right. sort of has happened over time, right? So that's the problem, is that over time, those get messed up, and then things that are supposed to, you're supposed to digest food right, you're supposed to think clearly, you're supposed to be strong, all those things start breaking down because of genetics. But it seems like lately there has just been a fascination with genetics and the DNA testing and the genetic testing. Why are people so just engrossed with this? I think that people have realized that there's a connection, you know, between their genetics and who they are, and then all these diseases they have, and they want to know, you know, Papa had it, Grandpa had it, and I have it. What can I do? Uh, Val, I guess the question is, uh, can, can you do anything? Once genetics are genetics, can you change that? Well, we believe you can. Really? <laughs> yes, we can. That's, that seems to be a big deal. Mm. So tell me more about that. Yeah. <laughs> well, everyone has different genetics and different mutations, and also everyone has different levels of gut bacteria. And these are related to certain diseases. So you may have some gut bacteria that are elevated that may predispose you to obesity or diabetes. And other gut bacteria may predispose you to things like depression. So foods can turn off and on uh, the, 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 I guess, the inner workings of our, of our genes? Yes. And not only food, but different herbs, vitamins, minerals, supplements, and also exercise levels. I'm going to guess, like, uh, pizza and gummy bears aren't going to be things that turn on good parts of us, right? Because I would say probably be the healthy not. Foods. Yeah. All right, probably so. not. What types of things are we talking about that can, and I'm sure everybody's different, um, and if they're not, tell me, but what are some of the things we're talking about that you can start doing to change different parts of that gut bacteria and ultimately your genetics? Well, there's so many things you can do. We thought we knew everything about nutrition in 1975, and all of a sudden we went, wait a minute, there's phytonutrients out there. Really? What do they do? And so we've looked at phytonutrients for you know, three decades, and now we're finding out that there's actually a way that your genes can be turned on and turned off by the foods that you eat. So are we talking kale and those types of things? Well, I'm looking for specific foods here that I'm going to have to it eat. It can be. It all <laughs> depends on your genetic makeup, and that's why we have Atlas Genetics. Well, what is Atlas Genetics? What are you guys all about? Atlas Genetics is a personalized nutrition, supplements, and lifestyle program here in Champaign, Illinois. It, can you give us an example of, uh, for one person, they say, come in, you, you do a, how do you, how do you test them to even know what it is they're supposed to be doing? A large needle straight ah. through. No. Oh, sure. Okay, Good. sign right me up. Then. <laughs> On the next two, I <laughs> Well, it's very easy. Uh, clients come in and they do a simple saliva test. They spit in a vial and we send it in for analysis. Just, mm. just spit in a cup? Yes, and we also wow. ask that they bring in labs that they have from their primary care physician. Okay. That also okay. helps. Wow. Now, okay, so that you get back the results. Is this to help them turn off certain genes, or is this help to help them lose weight, or what's the end goal? It could be all those things. It depends what the, the diseases you have when you come in and what your genetics are and what foods you need to eat. And sometimes it might seem like you have to eat kale all the time, but it's not necessarily true. It might just be you need more milk, less meat, more vegetables, more fruits, and this tells you. This is fascinating. I don't know that I'd want to follow the plan because it feels like <laughs> yeah. it, but it's amazing what, what you guys can do and learn from just something that simple. And, yeah. But the beautiful thing is when you think you're eating healthy, hey, it's Saturday. I think today I'm going to eat healthy. At least you know you're actually eating healthy <laughs> for <Right>. your genetics <laughs> right. and for your gut bacteria. You well, guys are way deal. smarter than us, and that's a, it's fascinating stuff. Where are you Thank located? You we are located in West Champaign at Rod Sickler Salon and Spa at The Crossing. Okay. Right. Interesting Thanks, stuff. Absolutely. I mean, seriously, everybody is doing this nowadays, getting all those... Their genetics tested, so now we got it right here in Champagne. We'll connect you. There's a look at their Facebook page over at CILiving.tv.